Okay, now turn your head to the light. Right there, one, two, three. We just did a really cool shot, and I'm gonna share it with you. So we're here at the, the Red Room at Arda in Glasgow, Scotland. And uh, we're here with the beautiful Miss Jasmine. We got Nikki the designer here. There she is, Miss Nikki. This video is gonna be about how we as photographers need to look at all of the details when we are taking our shots, how slowing down makes an enormous difference. Uh, I'm gonna show you techniques for cutting light. Open the light wider for me, Derek. Using a doorway. Close the door down for me, Derek. That's good right there. Um, and for using a, this is really a four light setup. All right, we're gonna show you the setup here. We have Miss Jasmine there on the couch being illuminated by an AOS 2 Pro. We have the Duke and Light Wand in the back. Another AOS 2 Pro behind to pump that red light out. We got a Neo 3 Pro right there under the couch to push light out through the ground. Now what I did was I closed this door halfway so we could direct and control that light. What you get all in all is a really incredible shot. And so I'm gonna show you how to add all of these elements together with different colors, different lights to really create some pretty dramatic results. So um, without further ado, let's do this. Bring your chin back. Go, now go this way with your head again. Now go down with your chin. Slower movements, right there. One, two, three. Now hold the wine glass out to your right a little bit more. Right there. Now turn all the way to the left. Lean your body towards that light. There you go, yep, just like that. Beautiful, oh look at how that glass lights up. One, two, three. But it shows you how you need to be so meticulous in the every single thing. Even those last shots of her, the way I was tilt, small so tilting, tilting, yeah, and I was I was creating that Rembrandt lighting just with those little minor tweaks. Quick little editing review here. I created a color layer to color that white area on the ground and make it red, and then I created a burn layer to darken that same area to really match it all together. And then when you compare and contrast it, looks pretty awesome. Hope you guys like it. I just thought that yeah, is that amazing. Because it's not, it's what I spoke about in the workshop, it's not just about her, it's gotta be about the entire environment. Yeah. So we're, we've tr cut all the lights in this place and we're, I'm completely lighting this entire set. Yeah. Go, your eyes go to the Exactly, we're, we're telling the viewer where to look. Uh, if you guys wanna learn more about these lights, you can go to rotolight.com slash trade up. You can learn more about the Rotolite 2 about the Rotolite 2 AOS 2 Pro Kit. About the AOS 2, <laughs> this always screws me up. About the AOS 2 Pro 2 Light Kit. Okay, that's what it is. It's the AOS 2 Pro 2 Light Kit. Um, you can get some really, really amazing deals with these trader programs. People have loved the trader program because it really gives you the ability to be able to get into some of these pro lights that you've been looking for. And if you guys are just looking for some extra lights and you don't want, and you don't need the pro versions, you can go to rotolight.com slash Jason offers. So I hope this has helped. Um, I really do. Um, I, I just love being able to shoot and I want to thank Nikki and Jasmine and Derek and Richard for helping out today. Everybody did a fantastic job. Until next time, keep shooting, never give up on your dreams. Find our gear that works for you. And remember, you only have one chance to get it right. We'll talk to you guys later. Please. Of course.